Well, we're truly going back in time with this one. That's right, because we're playing in the name of the Tsar, which I'm assuming would have a bit of a uh, front screen here, uh, but uh, it's still the uh, the Italian DLC one. Oops. Uh, which definitely saying something, because we had to go way back to, I think, uh, no step back to actually get this mod running, as it has not been updated in a long while. So, in the name of the Tsar is, to put it, Weirdly, a mod where Russia won World War One. If you can't tell from the massive green blob on your screen, it most certainly took its toll on Mr. Tsar Nicholas, as he is missing a good portion of his hairline. Now, the real sad thing about this mod is I'm pretty sure it, it will never be updated again. But if it does, I will definitely come back next year for Nostalgia November to check it out. But I do think this may be the last time we are seeing this on the channel. Oh boy, I don't even know who to play. I mean, uh, with Russia winning World War One, uh, apparently <laughs> Mal made the most of that one. Yeah, and I've definitely already done Prussia before, but I'm pretty sure the Southern Communists also have a focus tree, so maybe it's time we gave them a little try. So last year, I definitely remember doing the <laughs> and the UK tree's not really speaking to me, and I've definitely done way too much Prussia recently. And same goes with the, uh, the old Russian thing. Plus, when you're in a where Russia already won, why would I want to make them win again? I want to do something different. Communism. <laughs> this uh, picture just looks so weird. <laughs> so here we are. It's me, Carl, the communist, but not that communist. And I've got a dream of a communist German state. Unfortunately, though, there's this massive loser up here I need to deal with. Now, knowing the oncoming storm of a civil war is coming, we're going to make the most of it and start doing a bit of finagling. Okay, we won't be messing around today. We are going straight in on the Prussians whilst they are still preparing. All right, our communist brothers have risen up to take out the north as well, and we are pushing as fast as we can. The faster we unify all of Germany, the better and stronger we'll be to take down everyone else. So as it looks like the majority of the Prussian troops are actually stuck over here, or probably in the sea right now, running to defend East Prussia, which I'm not gonna let them do. There you go. The Germans are now German. Uh, also, we're in a time period where we have the old peace deal system. What a throwback, huh? Now that's nostalgic. Now, well, I don't think the uh, the Southern Commune's gonna work anymore. There we go. Now that's gonna work a bit better, I think. Uh, and I get the feeling our communist state is definitely gonna ruffle up a few feathers throughout the world. So again, we really need to start building up as quick as we can. And the first thing we'll go about doing is securing an alliance with the Hungarians, who are currently led by a man with a very shy chin. So first up on our look at revolutionizing Europe, we're gonna look at the Austrians, because how can we let a man who looks like that stay alive? Oh, and it looks like they made the wrong decision. There you go. Don't say I didn't warn you. Also, just before they capitulated, I did, uh, <laughs> yeah, notice something pop off. Yeah, okay. Are they gonna win? Considering the uh, the actual US doesn't even have a guy leading it right now, I think they might have a chance here. I'm sure we could give them a nudge in the right direction too. Hey, I'm just uh, making sure we're uh, all on the same page in North America. Okay, back in Europe momentarily though, we have gone ahead and demanded Northern Schleswig off the Danes, and of course they... Um, cowardly gave him. Uh, but next up, we're going to be eyeing up the Czechs in a usual fashion, <laughs> even though we're a bit of an unusual government. And I am kind of worried, like the Austrians, this might kick off a bit of a conflict. So I tried to help out the Americans the best I could by taking Washington for them, and hopefully they got the rest in the bag. Okay, so we do have options here. We can demand annexation, we can demand the Sudetland, and guarantees all we can postpone. I'm I'm gonna go for the full annexation here and see what happens. Meanwhile, I was making the most of our time in America by going on the longest journey I've ever been to New Orleans. <laughs> you can quite literally see where I've come from. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, you're coming back to Europe, boys. Although it looks like it may be a bit of a quick one, and we could be back in time for supper. Now, that weren't too difficult at all, and I know exactly where I can send all these guns after, too. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, didn't he manage to get back to the US in time? Okay, so whilst we had a bit of a easy time so far, I think the next thing is gonna be the one that really makes or breaks this. <laughs> As there is still a part of Germany that has not been liberated and I'm hoping it comes willingly, unlike literally everything else so far. Uh, oh, things are about to get spicy. Yeah, now we weren't 100% ready for this, but you can't really pick them after you've picked them. I won't lie, our progress has been a little slacking, but that's because the AI has so many troops. Do have a plan, though. It's just going to take a, uh, a little bit of time to get put into action. Uh, let's just say I've come up with a very interesting interesting way to get around this huge amount of units. I'm sure you may have seen something similar <laughs> before. I have broken through and I am actually scared to look at the casualties to see how much it costs me to break through. Yep. That's about what I expected. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, I, you know what? They got double the casualties I went. Okay, now the worst part is we need to do the exact same thing, but to the UK mainland. Oh, uh, I can I can already see hell <laughs> right there. It's actually a lot easier to get that landing than I thought, but those troops, there are still plenty of them around. Okay, yeah, this is actually just straight up easier than France. And there goes my brain cells. Oh, okay, yeah, so the Japanese are in this war, by the way. I didn't even realize. Uh, probably because I was staring this close to the screen the whole time. Now, thankfully, they didn't have enough points to actually uh, get anything there. And also, this is one of those mods that takes out all the peace deal options, so uh, we can pop it, and I'm assuming we'll have to do it all through decisions once we're out of this. I mean, it's not the worst, all right? We did peace out the allies, but <laughs> that was a lot of men we lost. Oh, well, okay, yeah, give me a minute. Gotta figure out all of this stuff. <laughs> Almost forgot about Luxembourg. Okay, so I think that's a little curse that we kind of missed out on because we were, uh, you know, too busy trying to win the war. Uh, Russia and Italy. Oh, they're best friends. Okay, the saving grace to that is the fact they are at war the Japanese and it doesn't look like they're doing too well over here, but that's still a lot of land I'm going to have to push through. I, I just realized as well they took Hungary. How did they even do that? <laughs> when did that happen? Yeah, I think it might be safe to say we're going to be having uh, quite a lot on our plate with this one. Don't worry, though. The Japanese are ready to give me a helping hand. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to preemptively... Uh, get a few of these going. Uh, cause I think we're gonna need them. So whilst the Japanese give them hell over here for some reason, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our invasion. Uh, hopefully we can catch them off surprise a little bit and <laughs> maybe actually win. Uh, also after last game, uh, we're not taking this for granted ever again. Okay, so the Italians do have the old Spanish as a puppet down here, but I shouldn't have to worry about that because I do have my own French puppet over here, so I'm just not gonna call those in, so we'll have a shorter front line. Oh yeah, now also might explain a few things. Uh, <laughs> the Ottomans are in the Cope Prosperity Spear. I mean, yeah, now my radar's all up. It doesn't look like the Russian or the Italians are really that strong right now. I imagine they've probably been death warring the Japanese and not faring too well. But either way, I'm not waiting around. We are going in. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay, I gotta make sure I take back my friend Hungry. <laughs> oh, I'm assuming just because they've been, uh, you know, war with everyone else. Uh, but this ain't going too bad at all. I'll show you the stats but I've got that cool little bug where, um, yeah, this don't work. Uh, the, uh, the Russians also are not helping out their Italian allies and have not joined the war. <laughs> I know, I can't tell who else I'm supposed to capitulate in this war, but considering the only other person I can see that's in it is the Spanish, I'm assuming it's them. Uh, which means the French commune is coming to the Italian-Japanese war in Spain. And there we go. Uh, just got the whole of that, uh, without <laughs> the Russians even joining. Uh, so we just went from one absolutely horrible war to one very easy one. Um, well, that's certainly something that just 
maybe should not have happened. I honestly, I don't care enough at this point to um, even worry about that. <laughs> Didn't even notice that one either. Oh, I guess at this point it would just be rude not to. Yeah, I'm actually so surprised that the UK and French combined were so strong and then the Russians are just absolutely eating concrete right now. I mean, I can understand it for the Italians, but how exactly have they left this Japanese invasion here the entire time? Although, saying that, just realize they are actually making some moves down here in the Balkans. Uh, might have to pay attention to that, but also not gonna pay attention to that and just gonna see if it goes okay without noticing it. Oh yeah, that's uh... It's a lot of green. All right, bail up. I'm gonna have to call you back into business. That chin is needed. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> How the hell did you get over here? I'm I'm not I'm not even gonna question it. Okay, <laughs> I'm not even gonna question that. When I get the option to rename Istanbul, I don't even own it. <laughs> what? Uh, you know I yeah sure okay. I have decided it's Constantinople. Well, you uh, you definitely won the first one, but you don't look like you're going to be winning the second one. Still can't believe I just renamed Constantinople. I'm trying to figure out how exactly we managed to pull that one off. Hey, uh, see, maybe just as the, uh, the Turks were moving back into the city, uh, I just had a catapult just launched over a sign with the name Constantinople on it, and it just so happened to land where it should have. Yeah, I would actually love to know like what the casualties and that are looking like. But uh, I, I actually can't unless I relaunch the game now, which uh, I'm not that committed to doing considering it's 1945 and I'm about to be done with it. Yeah, I just realized the whole time uh, America has actually done nothing. And I don't even remember if they started with Alaska, but <laughs> they don't own it anymore. Hey, and there you go. The Japanese actually have a disgusting amount of points. So this is probably going to be horrible. Um... Well, actually, it's not that bad, but that is a very large Japanese empire. Oh, yeah, but don't worry, though. I did sneak in, for some reason, the Russian People's Republic, which I could puppet. I don't know why. Oh, that's a little broken. I'm assuming the Japanese just got a uh, one of those decisions like I do to, uh, you know, fix the land you just took in the peace deal. And uh, I think they liberated a Russian government, except they just gave it to my puppet. That's probably why you shouldn't be able to puppet in the peace conference. Yeah, but also I have no idea why I could puppet Russia out of all people. I, I, <laughs> this mod's a little broken. Uh, also, yeah, don't ask. I don't know what happened when I was clicking the decisions, but this is the new world. Oh, uh, yeah, also, do not be afraid, people. Nikita Khrushchev is alive and well. He just looks a little different. There you go. I'll probably make it a, a little easier for us all and just give that back to Russia. So now we have West Russia and East Russia split in between the Japanese Russia. Oh, and then uh, immediately after, the, the Japanese just declared war on the Americans. <laughs> oh, also, just uh, looking over here, I realize Honduras is electric purple. Slay, queen. Uh, yeah, but either way, I think we are very much done with in the name of Tsar. I don't think we'll uh, come back and try this next nostalgia November. Like I said, it's two years out of date at this point with no signs of life. So I think this might be the end. Hey, but we gave it a fun little game. It was good. It was actually a bit of a challenge beating the French and the English. But after that, it was definitely not a challenge. Hey, but if you enjoyed the video and you're enjoying Nostalgia November, remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one.